Here we are in section 1-1 with the answers and solutions to numbers 9 through 18. Number 9, locate these numbers on a number line. Here's a number line right here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's get a little bigger thing to, to see that on. All right, so locate the number 7. Got him. Locate the number negative 2.3. So negative 2.3 is going to be somewhere between negative 2 and negative 3. So right about in here somewhere, not quite halfway down. The number 4, that's right there. Good. Uh, we might want a negative 2.3. Since that's not already designated, we might want to note that one. Negative 8, right down there. Good. Pi. Pi, if we stick that in a calculator, we get pi is 3.14159, dot, 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 forever. So that's going to be somewhere right in here. So we'll put pi above that so we can see it. Um, nine fifths. Where's nine fifths? Uh, nine divided by five, punch that in the calculator, and we get about 1.8. Oh, exactly 1.8. So right there. Oh, yeah, 10 fifths would be right at two. So there's nine fifths. And then negative three quarters. So negative three quarters is not quite negative one. Stick it in a calculator and you get negative 0.75. So negative three fourths right there. Good. For each pair of numbers, write the correct inequality between them. So we've got to find the bigger and the smaller. So negative two and 1.5. So negative two is here and 1.5 is up here. 1.5 is larger. So it looks like that. Negative three and negative seven. Well, negative three is here and negative seven is way down there. The negative three is larger. So negative uh, three has to be on the big side of negative seven. 27 and 13. So way over here, 27 and 13. And it goes that way. So 27 has to be larger than 13. Notice that when I say 27 on that side and 13 on that one, 27 is on the big side of the symbol, so 27 is larger than 13. We'll get practice with that with writing an equivalent expression down here below. If 6 is larger than 1.5, then 1.5 is smaller than or equal to 6, and that is a true statement. Notice the 6 stays on the larger side and the 1.5 stays on the smaller side, and it means the exact same thing. You're basically reading it from left to right or from right to left and they mean the same thing. So on this one, we have 4,991 is bigger than 2,349. Those are the same statement. If negative 16 is bigger than some number x, but we don't know what it is, that means that x is smaller than some number 16. And these mean the exact same thing. All right, next one. Find the absolute value. Absolute value just makes things positive. So the absolute value of negative 17 is 17. 8 minus 14 is a negative 6. Absolute value of negative 6 is 6. And 3 times 4 minus 2 is 2. Uh, so 3 times 2 is 6. So we have the absolute value of 6 is 6. It doesn't make it opposite. It doesn't turn it into a negative 6. It just makes everything positive. Excellent.